the Prime Minister, the government, spent the week telling the British public there was no party. All guidance was followed completely. Millions of people now think the Prime Minister was taking them for fools and that they were lied to. They're right, aren't they? Mr Speaker, may I begin by saying that I understand and share the anger up and down the country at seeing number 10 staff seeming to make light of lockdown measures. And I can understand how infuriating it must be to think that the people who have been setting the rules have not been following the rules, Mr Speaker, because I was also furious to see that clip. And Mr Speaker, I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country, and I apologise for the impression that it gives. But I repeat, Mr Speaker, that I have been repeatedly assured since these allegations emerged that there was no party and that, and that no Covid rules were broken, and that is what I have been repeatedly assured. But I have asked the Cabinet Secretary to establish all the facts and to report back as soon as possible. And, Mr Speaker, it goes without saying that if those rules were broken, then there will be disciplinary action for all those involved. The Prime Minister has been caught red-handed. Why doesn't he end the investigation right now by just admitting it? The Prime Minister is responsible for losing the trust of the people. He can no longer lead on the most pressing issue facing these islands. The Prime Minister has a duty, the only right and moral choice left to him. It is for his resignation. When can we expect it? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm... Uh, the party opposite and indeed the other party opposite are going to continue to play politics. I am going to get on with the job. <laughs>